Hi guys, this is Rebecca with Our Games. We are back in The Sims 4 doing the Ultimate Decades Challenge. And this time we are one year into the new decade. We are in 1331. Um, I played through the end of the day Thursday from where we left off last time. And it's now early in the morning on Friday. So it is the first day of the new year. Um, the only roles we have today are for the two infants, uh, Ethan Carr and Ian Crane, which Ian, of course, is in the main household, so I'll roll for him in just a minute. Um, and I did also have another pregnancy get started for a side household, just to keep that going. Um, but yeah, otherwise we're all here. Uh, May is gone now, of course. Um, it was her time to go. <laughs> at the end of the last part. Um, so, a lot of people in this house are still very sad um, about that. But, uh, today we will also be rolling for Annabeth to see if she gets married or not, um, and any children as well if she does get married. Um, either way, she will be moving out of the ho main household today, either into the house with her brother Gus, if she doesn't get married, or, you know, if she does get married, obviously, into the house there with her partner. Um, so I'll roll for that probably soon as well, just so I know what I'm doing when I'm out in the managed worlds. Uh, and the new expansion pack has come out as of me recording this, and I did get it because it looked good. <laughs> so I do have that because I'm... I probably won't have them get, like, any horses on, um, yet, at least, in the main household, because I have, I already have a full house of Sims, and, um, you know, it's a lot to take care of. At some point, I'm sure I will, but not quite yet. I did add a couple things from the pack in here. Um, I mean, I guess only one real thing, and that's the nectar-making station here. <laughs> That feels like it's something that they could have feasibly done at that time. Like, maybe not, you know, realistically that much, but it fits in. It's fine. So, I'll probably have them be making, making that at some point. Because um, I know you can make money doing that. Uh, and that will be nice. Um, and I do plan to get, like, a little mini sheep and a mini goat. Uh, just to help with getting milk and, like, wool on a regular basis. Uh, just one of each, though, because they do need attention, because they're like the chickens, basically. Um, except you have to hand, like, bottle feed them at least once a day, from what I've seen, from the limited amount I've played with the pack so far. <laughs> um, so I don't want to get a whole bunch of them, otherwise I'm going to probably have a lot of them run away very frequently. So. I'll get one of each, and we'll just see how that goes. And if I feel like adding more in the future, I can always do that. Um, right, Ian. Our little infant here, it is his day to roll. So let's just go ahead and do that and see if we get to age him up into a toddler. So, he cannot roll a 4, 8, or 12, and he will be good. So let's see what Ian gets. Okay, he rolled a seven. So little Ian gets to age up into a toddler. Yay. Have him do that. Somebody will come grab him. So both the parents are busy right now, but I'm sure he'll... Someone will grab him here in a second. <laughs> I'll age him up in a second. Just go grab your baby. Now, let's have him age up. Okay, maybe I can just have her put him on the floor. Put him all, help put him down. Here. Before all the plants disappear, I need you to harvest these. Because this is the harvest that we get to keep in our box, okay? So, I don't care how sad you are. You're going to be really sad if you can't eat. Does this not work anymore? Ian, what's your problem? Age up. Oh no. 
Don't tell me that helpful cheat is broken. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. What are you doing? Don't go night night. No, no. Hey, job. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, fine. I'll just have to cheat him then. Woo, if that cheat doesn't work, this. Playing this is going to be beyond frustrating. Cool, all they managed to get were carrots before they disappeared. That's super. So glad. Okay, well, we got 45 carrots before everything else disappeared. So that's great. Okay. Well, I'll go take care of the animal then. At least we got some of the biggest harvests we were gonna have. <sighs> I guess I just have to go into cast with Ian and make him a toddler. Okay, I'm going to go into cast with Ian and I have to age him up there because apparently I can't cheat age them up anymore, which is super annoying, but it's fine, I guess. Oh, I can't even age him up here either. I have to do the regular cast, which maybe they have few enough people now is it's fine. If they have eight or less, it'll be fine, but if you have too many people in your household and you go into cast, like cheating your household to be bigger, the game will delete one of your people when you come back out of it if you have too many. Oh, well, they have eight. Okay. Well, let's just go into cast in normal way then. We'll age him up. Not as exciting, but at least it works. Okay. He is a charmer. Okay. That'll be nice. Okay, well, here is Ian Crane as a toddler. All made up. In his everyday outfit. Oh man, we've got four toddlers. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to get another toddler bed for Ian. Oh, oh. We will do that later. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and roll for Annabeth to see if she gets married or not. Because I'm about to go manage worlds and I want to know if I need to split her out of the household while I'm out there. I mean, I will be, but you know, to what end? <laughs> All right, so let's roll to see if she gets married. If she gets four to 20, she will. So let's see. Okay, she rolled a 10. So Annabeth is getting married. Now we'll see about children for her. Okay, she rolled a six. So she's gonna have six baby tries. I feel bad for her because she, she does not like children. <laughs> But at least she didn't roll 12, right? Uh, okay. All right, well. Annabeth, you are going to be getting married today. When I go out here, we'll split her out of the household and then I will find her husband. We'll get that all situated. Oh, first, I'm going to go to the car household and we're going to roll for their infant over there. And I'm not going to give her much money because we don't have much. So she's not going to be marrying a rich person. Let's go roll for little Ethan. So Ethan cannot get a 4, 8, or 12. Okay, so let's roll for a little Ethan. And he rolled a 17. So he is good. He gets to age up to a toddler. I'll try this again and see if it works. Nope. Not at all. Cool. Alright. 
Let's have to H him up in Cass. But he did roll good, so these guys can both be moved to their next roll. Right there. Good to be a toddler, Ethan. Woohoo! Okay, he's gonna be angelic. All right, well, here is Ethan as a toddler, all in his everyday outfit, made up here. He's a cutie too. Whew. Chelsea actually might have her next baby today. She most likely will. Okay. Where are you doing your little toddler now? Good job. All right. So Annabeth is going to be getting married. Which means I'll be adding her into the list here of pregnancies. I just need to find her or <laughs> pick her out a husband. And I'll get that put in here and I'll do that real quick. I put a house down for them and picked her out a husband out of my gallery. Um, his name is Anthony Booth. So I added him on here for Annabeth. So her name will now be Annabeth, <laughs> Annabeth Booth. <laughs> Uh, and then I just need to add Anthony onto the timeline and stuff, which I'll do here in just a minute. I just need to go in and get them married. Anthony has a major crush on Annabeth. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. No messing around right now though, okay? <laughs> That's cute. I love, that. I love when they're like, they immediately have a crush on their spouse they picked for him. It makes me feel nice. He's a foodie and a goofball. So yeah, here is Anthony. <laughs> trying to get a Look at his face here under his hat, but there we go. That is Anthony, Anthony Booth. So hopefully these guys both live for a long time and have some kids that survive. But all right, I'll see you guys later. Congrats on your marriage. I just need to add Anthony to the timeline and on the info chart and stuff. So I got him added on there. Got him on the timeline, on the families. I got Annabeth in line here to start some pregnancies. That's all the roles we had today until Chelsea has her baby, which... I don't know when that might happen. I'm just gonna go back in here and see <laughs> if she happens to be in labor or something. If not, I might just go back to the main household and wait until she, until I get that pop up for it. She's not yet. I'll just, I'll just hang out here until she has her baby. <laughs> it's already in the afternoon. I feel like it's gotta happen real soon. <laughs> just making some mac and cheese in the big cold, you know. Like you do. Oop, she's in labor now. It's fine. Just finish the mac and cheese. And then I can do that. Don't talk to her right now. <laughs> okay, she's done. Okay. Go to the bathroom then and have your baby. So I don't want you to pee your pants as soon as you have a baby. <laughs> Hey, it's a girl. Yeah, Ruth Carr. That sounds good. 
cakep baby and new boo okay well, let's roll for mom and Ruth here as long as Chelsea doesn't get a one she's good okay she rolled a 16 so Chelsea is Chelsea <laughs> Chelsea is good um, now let's roll for Ruth Oh, Ruth also got a 17, so she is good. She will live through today. Lord. Oh. There she is. Little Ruth. <laughs> just that real baby look of just like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Nothing going on. Okay. Well, congrats, Chelsea. You at least get your baby for a few months and, you know, the timeline. I'll be back tomorrow for that baby. See if she ages up or not. Okay, so... She's only got one baby try left. But this one was good. Let's add Ruth on here. <clears throat> and you're here and her roll tomorrow. We'll be back over there tomorrow to roll for Ruth and Randall. Okay. Now we'll head on back to the main household. We do need to take May's gravestone over to the graveyard. Which I'll probably have Elijah do tomorrow, maybe. I don't feel like going back out into managed worlds now. And I need to get you a toddler bed, which now I have to pay for because I don't have any in the family inventory. Uh, um, that's fine. Um, let's see, Annabeth isn't here now, so let's... Oh my god. Let's just put this back in inventory for now. Put this toddler bed here. Yeah, I guess we'll just put you right there. I guess we don't need this one up here either right now. Because no one's going to be using that for a while. Okay, cool. Now all the toddlers have a bed. I know, Joanne, I know. Very sad about Grandma. Why don't you clean the shed for the cow? Don't you go foraging, Elijah? Yeah, that's not what you should be doing right now. Ooh, we got eggs. Go get the eggs. Right, we got some chestnuts. Some garlic. And some blueberries. Nice. Alright. Um. <clears throat> yeah. We'll buy some mini goats and mini sheep. Just one of each. We'll get a little white mini sheep, because they're the cheapest ones. <laughs> All the goats are the same. Uh, we'll get a little spotted goat. Yay! Oh, did they are! Oh, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Let's share this little guy for wool, because it says ready for shearing already. <laughs> no first check, you better go to bed, buddy. Nice. Oh, they like that. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, you going to bed? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, one of each so they can, you know, like, play with each other. Uh, and stuff like that, but... You know, we can still get wool and milk from them. Not as much as we would from, like, a cow or a llama, but... You know. Okay, let's all start going to bed, huh? 
It's getting to be a little late. We should we should do that. Child, you need to have some fun. Yeah, you have a little bit of fun. There you go. Now you won't be so sad. Have some fun and then you can go to bed. It is now Saturday. Last day of spring for these guys. We're just rolling for Ruth, Wyatt, and Randall today. So nobody from the main household will have to worry. I'm assuming these guys will wake up at like five, like most of the animals seem to. <laughs> Watch them. Alright, why don't you go sell all the crops before they disappear today. We got food, which is fantastic. The roosters and chickens are getting up. The little goats and sheep still sleeping. Well, that's fine. Oh, and now they're up. Okay, they get up at six. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my good days. <laughs> Look at that little face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna have some of the grass. I planted some of the prairie grass around a lot. Uh, just in the hopes that it'll be useful whenever I do get a horse sometime down the line. Because I do plan to do that at some point with the main household, but like I said, not yet. Goodness. Okay, cool. So you don't have to worry about feeding them as much <laughs> if you have the prairie grass. Because then they'll just eat that. Which is very nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the hopping. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, we gotta eat some more? So hungry. Nom, nom, nom. I could just watch them the whole time. They're so cute. Okay. Um, I need to focus. Um, well, we can milk the little goat, so let's let's milk them. Let's milk them for simoleons today, because it's it's the harvest day. Come on, man. I want to see you interact with the goat. Oh, you go get some food, little man. All the little ones can come get food when you wake up, okay? You go, get the little goat milk. <laughs> Make some goat cheese with that. Oh, oh, good stuff. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good, got milk. Okay. <laughs> Smother that sheep with love. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ian and Forrest are both severely in need of baths. Um, why don't you give Forrest a bath first? You can come have fun up here. You have so many toys you can play with. You'll get a bath next, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Why, why don't you talk to the pet the little sheep? Hmm? <laughs> eee! You didn't potty train him at all, did you? You just let him poop his pants right after you gave him a bath, didn't you? Four dollars in this house is a lot. Oh, Ian hates being carried. Okay. Let's go <laughs> somewhere else. Okay. At least two of our roles today are in the same household, so that'll be nice and easy to take care of. Um, we'll just go to the car house. Roll for Ruth and Randall. So, we'll roll first for well, Ruth. She can't get a 12, 16, or 18. And 
Ruth rolled a 15, so she's good. Uh, now we're rolling for Randall, which is the scarier one, because he's rolling for young adult. So let's see what he gets. He got a 10. So oh, he dodged it. Randall's good. Okay, well, they're both good. Let's see again if this works by chance. Of course not. At least they can each him up and cast. That's fine. So let's go age up the baby. This should work because it's not any kind of cheat. This is just how the game works. Here she comes. Okay. Ruth is sensitive. Oh. She's got black hair. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. So let's look at her and age up Randall to a young adult. Infant Ruth. <laughs> okay. Now age up Randall. To a young adult. And now I can't really properly randomize his trait. Um, let me just see. I got my eyes closed here and this one. Nope. <laughs> here and mm, I can't use high maintenance. Uh, this one. Which one? This one. Non-committal. Sure. Too late, buddy. You're already committed to someone. Okay. So he won't really change at all. Look-wise. Um, okay. Now we just have to go over to the Andrews house for Wyatt. Gotta go roll for Wyatt. The only boy left at the Andrews house for the children. <laughs> I really hope he rolls well. Because he is actually rolling to age up to a child. What? So he just cannot roll a 9 or 19. Alright, the Wyatt. I'm rooting for you, buddy. <laughs> you to die. I'm debating if I want to use my spare or save from death or not. He's the only boy left in this house. Which I guess, you know, would have been true of the Altons as well, but, or the Polks. But, Wyatt. Oh, look at him! <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna do it. Sorry, Wyatt. I really didn't want this to happen. Just the boys don't have good luck in my in my game. Oh, just like Belle. <laughs> Just put him down, Melanie. I'm sorry. At least he'll just get deleted. Bye, Wyatt. Ooh. Like, no wonder Melanie's paranoid. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm sorry, guys. I really didn't want to, but... <sighs> it's part of the challenge. Oh, yeah, and I should start another side household pregnancy today. Um, yeah, we'll have a Landis house start another pregnancy today. Go cheat them one of those real quick. Rose is now pregnant. Okay, well, I'll be back in a few days for that baby. Uh, okay, so that's the rolls we had today. 
Tomorrow we roll for Melanie and Joanna. <laughs> Have one less toddler in the main household. Will make things a little easier. Now I'll travel out with Elijah and we'll go put May's tombstone away. Where it goes. Alright, Elijah, let's go somewhere. All by yourself, please. Just go into the graveyard. Right next door. I would keep the tombstones on the lot. Um. Because it would be kind of interesting to, like, have. <laughs> Hello. Have, um. The house be haunted by like ghosts of their ancestors, but um, with this game, the hauntings are severely annoying for me. Over after a while, um, I'll put me right here next to Connor, because you know they break everything. They slow down the time where people are sleeping, so everything takes so much longer. You know, it's just. It's not worth it. <laughs> I know, both your parents are here now. Why are you over here too? Go home. <laughs> well, tomorrow will be the first day of summer. Which I don't think has too much of a helpful crops. Yeah, it's just blueberries and blackberries. So, just have to keep it up on the sage and mushrooms and... Maybe we'll plant some watermelon, too. I don't know if you harvested some mushrooms. <laughs> okay, well, we'll definitely keep those. We'll sell the flowers. Can we make some nectar? We can. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Well, why not? It says we have it. I don't understand why I can't do that. Is it because of the way I placed this? Because the way it wanted me to have it was like way out here. Like this. Maybe I need space on both sides, I don't know. No? Well, what the heck? Is this not able to be used off the grid? Because that sucks if that's the case. I mean, it doesn't say off the grid, so. I guess it needs electricity for some reason. Well, that sucks. <sighs> okay, well, whatever then. Well, since tomorrow's gonna be the first day of summer, I'm gonna put out all the fires. We won't need all that when it's warm outside. Alright, well, it is Sunday morning now, about 4.30. Oh yeah, we can roll for Joanna. See if she'll get to become a child. <laughs> Having one less toddler in the house would be awesome. Well, we can make pottage, so we'll do that. Oh, you're pregnant! <laughs> Sick. <laughs> okay. Well, Eliana's pregnant again. I swear they woohoo one time, and it works now. <laughs> okay. Well, great. At least there'll be some space between these now, so that we're still gonna have a lot of toddlers at once, but you know, they weren't quite as on top of each other as Ian and the twins were. Alright, so I'm gonna roll for Joanna. Because I'd like to be able to age her up if that's something I can do. So she's rolling for child. You cannot get a 9 or a 19 to be safe. Alright, she rolled a 20. So Joanna is good. Good job, Joanna. You live. Alright, now we'll age up Joanna into a child. One less toddler. One more person that can help with stuff. Yay! And she is a loner. Okay. He 
Here is Joanna Crane as a child. Got her everyday dress here. <laughs> okay, we got her going out to get the eggs. Elijah's watering everything. Oh, we got egg ready to hatch. Joanna, grab the egg. Hatch the eggs. Go get a little chicken. <laughs> oh, we got a frog. Okay. So the only little one that needs help is Forrest. He needs a bath. We can do that a little bit. Can you kids help these guys? Not really. They can't like milk or shear them, which is fine. But they can talk to them, which is good. Helpful anyway. <clears throat> Got some honey. All right. Why don't you go hunting, Elijah? That'd be super. Okay, can you please get forced to bath? Oh my goodness. <laughs> God, I thought my game was okay, but for God's sake, it's apparently not. We can't age people up anymore. They won't freaking give these kids a bath. Poor thing's gonna die from how gross he is. What'd you get? Any squirrel? A turkey? And a duck. Okay, we're gonna go to a different household now. <laughs> Everybody's getting too warm there and screaming about it, so I'm just gonna leave. Um, all we have to do is go roll for Melanie today. So that should be pretty easy to do real quick. <laughs> Alright, so Melanie is rolling for full adult. So if she gets any number 1 to 8, she will not make it. Okay, she rolled a 14. So Melanie gets to live and age up. Her next roll will be to see how many years she's got left. <laughs> I hate that it pops up. It gives me hope for like just a second that she'll do it and then it doesn't work. Uh, Alright. Okay. Go. We'll just take that one off there. So she looks slightly different, but not much. Alright, guys. I'll see y'all later. And yeah, we actually don't have a single roll for Monday, the last day of this year. Um, Abby might have a baby today. If she doesn't have a baby today, it'll be tomorrow. Let me look. Yeah, she'll have her baby tomorrow. Okay. So that'll be the only thing that happens tomorrow. Okay. That's fine. Means I can just have the main household to get some stuff done today. Maybe we'll plant some watermelons and craft some stuff for money, all that fun stuff. I'm really sad that the nectar making thing has to have electricity. It makes no sense to me. Okay, we just spent a lot of money on seeds, but I want to see what I get. Might be something helpful. I'm just going to sell the flowers. Okay, we got carrots, grapes, taro root, which we can't plant that, I know for sure, and the green beans too, green peas. 
we go. Everybody set about their stuff. Toddlers, you just exist, okay? Yeah, you go have some fun. You're eating. You're going potty. See, you all are good. You all know what to do. The fact that they'll just burn to death and not even consider changing their outfit makes me so annoyed. It's like, help yourself, you dingbat. What else did you catch? Oh, got a pigeon, a chicken, and is that a boar? It is a boar. Heck yeah, dude. Good stuff. Could you finish this now, please? Let's make some carrot pudding. So we got a ton of carrots. <laughs> oh, I just heard that goat scream, and that was so funny. <laughs> that baby! <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so silly. <laughs> I gotta get you another bed. I gotta put that other bed back in here. Oh goodness. Oh yeah, I'm just leaves. I might inch this over just in case. Uh, there we go. Alright. There you go, Joanna. This one's your bed. Oh yeah, why don't you go fertilize these things now since you have so much? Need to use them all at some point. Hey! Good job, Wesley! Max a social skill. Oh, it's almost midnight. You guys need to go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Yeah, then you had a full day. <laughs> okay, it is Monday, the last day of the year. And the only thing we really have that's gonna happen today is the Kennedy baby. <laughs> there you go. You guys are good. Did you do everything out here you're supposed to do? I don't think you did any of it. Oh my god. I'm sure Lily is hungry. Good thing she's coming down to get food. If everybody would just leave her the heck alone. I wish the children could bathe the toddlers. I understand why they can't, but I wish they could. Thank you for watering all the crops, Eliana. And for some reason, Elijah was incapable of doing that. Okay, good. This little one's got his bath and his social needs up. That's great. All the toddlers need a bath today. Can you potty train Forrest, actually? I'm glad Ian loves books, but we need to take care of the other one right now. This is why I wanted the shower. Because <laughs> now I can have Elijah just go take a shower instead of hovering around the bathtub for four hours and then deciding to do it. All right, Forest Games potty chair, yay! Elijah, please come take a shower. Did we milk this cow yet? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, well, let's just sell the milk today. Because we have a lot of it now. Oh, these are all bad, cool. We'll just sell those too. Why don't you grab some more water? Because everybody's had a bath of some sort today. Now we'll go to the Kennedy house. She's probably in labor by now. And go have her have her baby and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, she's going to go into labor at any moment. Good. Perfect timing then. Go have a baby. Hey, it's a boy. Matthew. Matthew Kennedy. Matthew sounds like a good one. I don't think I've used that name yet. Yeah. Right. Alright, well let's roll for mom and baby. Ok. 
Okay, mom rolled an 18. How about Matthew? Ooh, Matthew rolled a 13. He gets to live. Okay, let's get a picture of him then. We'll get to add him to the family tree. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Let me add him in here. Get everybody updated. So Abby's got three baby tries left. All right, and I will have Annabeth start her first pregnancy before I film, before I start the next part. Um, so yeah, this is where I'm going to end this part here. Next time we will be starting in 1332 and get through that year most likely. Um, yeah, got a little handful of rolls here and we'll have a few more babies born. One will be in the main household and then for sure we'll have Rose's baby be born and maybe Annabeth's, but we'll see. Um, so if you would like to see that or anything else I upload, you can subscribe. If you have liked this video or the series, you can let me know with a like or comment below. And thank you for watching. I hope I will see you next time. Bye.